Troubles within the same interim board meant to sort out the mess at Cricket South Africa are continuing. The temporary structures chairperson, now former, Judge Zach Yacoub, has been forced to step down. This follows a recording of the judge making derogatory comments to, at a journalist. Board member Judith February joins us now to talk us through the events of the past few days. Now, firstly, Judith, this must be very embarrassing and how damaging to the interim board. Well, good evening, Jeffrey. Well, it certainly is was an unfortunate incident. Um, I think that um, the publication, uh, the the conversation was was published, and um, it certainly was um, inappropriate. Uh, and we all expressed our um, our sadness at at the fact that this conversation a had happened, and b the repercussions um, for for the interim board and also for Judge Yacoub um, himself. So it is an unfortunate incident, but I think one needs to to take it in context. We need to look at the work that has been done over the past three months by this board, and that has been considerable. And um, Judge Yacoub has been um, a part of of leading uh, the process to clean up corporate governance. But certainly. Um, the recording was, was out in the public domain, and uh, this interim board takes very seriously the right of the media to ask questions and the constitutional right um, that they have, and also the fact that we are fulfilling a public function. And so um, if we take that seriously, then um, the natural consequence of that would have been that after the publication of that recording, after that conversation, that uh, Judge Yacoub would do the right thing and step down. Now, this is obviously following the uh, sports minister, Natim Tetwa's intervention too. Uh, has there been an opportunity to uh, liaise or uh, contact Judge Yacoub? And how did he explain himself and his actions? Well, it's, it's been a, a couple of days where there has been a bit of back and forth, obviously. Yesterday, um, Judge Yacoub um, issued an apology, an unreserved apology for his comments, and we as the board thought that that was more than appropriate in the circumstances once we had heard um, the contents of the conversation. Obviously, the story had broken on Sunday, but then there was a, a subsequent uh, telephone conversation. So we've been in touch with, with Judge Yacoub. He was our colleague on the board, um, our chair person, and so um, there certainly is no rancor. I think most of us are, are disappointed by what's happened. Um, we have a very short space of time with, in which to do things that the minister has mandated us to do, and so really there is no time to, to waste, in a sense, um, and so, so one has to move forward. Um, but we have been in touch with him, and he has been remorseful about, about what has happened. Um, this doesn't take away the fact that, of course, there were inaccuracies in some of the reporting um, from the journalist involved, but um, certainly he is remorseful about the conversation, about its inappropriate tone. But now we have a new chairperson um, in Dr. Stavros Nikolaou, who is well equipped to take us forward, and the board needs to, to look forward and also, um, Jeffrey, to, to build on the work that has been done. A substantial amount of work has been done um, with regard to corporate governance matters, and I think we need to, to move forward while at the same time acknowledging um, that what um, happened, that the conversation was inappropriate, was, um, was damaging um, to the reputation of cricket South Africa. And as a result, um, Judge Yacoub had to um, resign from his position. Thank you so much for those responses and a very unsavory uh, incident involving the uh, former head or, uh, of the Cricket uh, South Africa interim board. Uh, that was Judith February, one of their members.